jacket. The only part I remember. She's choosing to stay. My friend, she's choosing to stay in the marriage. I'm in, I'm in, is my child her home? But we're in a bedroom and all three of us are there. And I'm getting ready to leave. Okay, I'm not coming back. I'm not coming back. And I'm just saying goodbye. She had told me not to tell him. Just like, don't tell him. Don't tell him that you know. I was like, okay. I wasn't planning to. I didn't ask for permission to tell her the truth. Even though we had made a pact, we had made a pact before. But no one knew we would take it to the grave. And he's looking at me in my dream like he knows I said something because she's different. She's different and he feels it. He sees it. And he's looking at me kind of like wanting me to tell him. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, you're not my friend anymore. Because you tried to silence me wanted to say something and I'm like you're not my friend in my head and I'm just I'm just trying to pack up and leave I'm like I'm not coming back I'm not coming back in my dream but he's looking at me like like to give him some type of signal or or message that I said something and I'm like mm -mm. you're not my friend anymore And then the only other thing that I remember is my brother's checking up on me. He's just checking up. He's a younger brother. I'm older by a year, but because he's the only brother, he has this sense of responsibility over his sisters, right? Just these roles that we give each other in society. So he feels responsible for me. I'm just like, it's not your responsibility. I just kept thinking about that interaction always change my mind. These rules, these rules, these packs that we make with people can always change my mind. Right? I can always change my mind if the situation is no longer in my high school. I can always change my mind. And it got me thinking about this other video from Abraham Hicks. She talks about the vibration. My ex and I were on a different but like people saw it. People saw it. I felt it. That's what it was getting harder and harder because there was a gap between my growth and where he was at and he wouldn't change and so there was just this as I was working on me I didn't realize that I was changing and so now there's this gap between us and because he wasn't budging or doing anything different it wasn't working anymore and with every test life lesson that I conquer I was explaining this to my client I said every time you work on yourself and you pass a test, right, a lesson, you, you, it, it's like you level up, you level up, and, and then you keep leveling it up, so the gap between you and the people before you gets bigger, they don't change, they're no longer vibing on the same frequency, and so it gives the illusion of loss, it gives the illusion that you're losing relationships, but you're not, they're always there, they're just at a lower frequency, until they do something different, until they decide to change. But it gives the illusion of loss. Because you're at a frequent, different frequency. So they're not going to vibe with you. They, they, don't, they don't see the world the way you see them anymore. Right? You outgrow. We use this word. Right? We, 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 I, I, I had this conversation with another client. Um, what did she say? She, she used a term. But it's basically you, you mature out. You're, you've outgrown relationships. That's what that means. You've outgrown relationships. They're still here, stuck, if they don't change. And you're, 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 you're taking your step. So then what happens? You attract stuff from this higher vibration. Christina Lopes was talking about it yesterday when I was looking, reviewing one of her old videos on how to four ways to clean, clear out your energy. And she talks about evil spirits, this concept of evil spirits, which doesn't exist because the world is not in two places it's not about duality it's all love because it all comes from source 
but as a society we've, we've conditioned ourselves to view the world in black or white right good or bad um you know sins and, and good deeds and right or wrong when in reality it's all from source it's just how far away you are from source right and that's what she was explaining that evil spirits are, are not evil they don't come from the devil it's just a, a, a soul that has chosen to to um, because of free will it's a soul that has chosen to se separate itself from God from source so much so that they forget who they are they forget who they are and where they came from hence all the violence and all the murders and, and all the like extreme stuff that they they've they've just separated so much that they forget where they're from so they respond in a certain way and all of that is technically a low vibing energy so as long as you stay in low vibing energy you're gonna keep attracting low vibing stuff and and then you wonder right and then you wonder why does this keep happening to me? You're attracting it with your thought process. You're attracting it with your emotional experience about what's happening around you. And then the more and more and more people who focus on that thing, it's like the pink elephant activity, right? It's like a pink elephant activity. I tell my client, I'm, I'm going to do an activity with you. It's a pink elephant too. I forgot how I learned it. But I tell them, I'm going to give you a direction. I need you to follow it to the T. Don't think of a pink elephant. <laughs> <laughs> like, did you think of a pink elephant? Yeah. I'm like, but I told you not to. That's how our brain processes information. Like, it just takes in what we tell it, even though we don't want it. And so I was just explaining to them, I'm like, your power, the power of your brain, I can't tell the difference. And so, why feed it stuff? Right? Why watch scary movies? <laughs> You're going to feel feed it scary crap. Be mindful of what you put in your head. <sighs> so it's just, you just create separation from all these relationships that stay stagnant, that, that stay in this level, keep leveling up. Guess what? You're going to attract other stuff. And then this stuff won't hit you as much. That's what I was thinking about it. I'm like, that's why I don't, that's why this whole, the, the last spirit that was in here i was low vibing it that day i was i was i was wah wah that day that day i was really sad why was i sad oh it's because of that other dream that i had right where i was really sad that i had lost him that i had lost him that he chose he chose he 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 moved on chose to move on with someone else and I was low vibe in it there right this illusion of loss which is at a different frequency that's what got triggered from that one scene in my dream we can always change our mind You can always change my mind. Agreements by people that I make from now on, I'm going to put that in there. I can always change my mind. I can always change my mind. If the situation is no longer in my highest good, I can always change my mind. And it gives a sense of responsibility to each person to contribute to the relationship in a way that is in their highest good. I mean, think about it, if, if we all knew that the relationship wasn't permanent, that at any point either one of us can walk away, you better believe you're going to put more effort into it, right? More work. If you're wanting that person as much as they want you, then put the work in. Because you want it to work. Love. <sighs> That's all. That's all. Hi, 
My name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us. Um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth, this just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey. Um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know, right? <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step and, and, and be vulnerable, you know, with, with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth, and we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were. And so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience, it, and that you find some type of truth for yourself or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with, with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and, you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for me.